Antibiotics became generally available after the Second World War and are considered to be one of the major medical advances of the 20th century. They constitute a form of treatment, can offer a cure and lead to longer life expectancy. But in certain fields, their widespread usage tends to be exaggerated and has come into question. How can antibiotics be better used? How can the development of resistance to antibiotics be avoided? What are the consequences of their ill-considered usage for humans and also for animals? These were some of the topics that the organizers of ICPIC 2013, the International Conference on Prevention and Infection Control, wished to debate this year, together with the numerous experts attending the event in Geneva. It is a matter of patient safety that we use the appropriate antibiotics. And I think it's important that we're not talking about controlling and stopping antibiotics. We need to make sure they get used when people have infections and they're used quickly and appropriately. What we've got to do is stop the um, inappropriate use of these. And there are ways that we can, um, we can set up systems to help us, but the most important way is making sure that there's awareness, there's engagement, and making it clear that everybody involved in the prescribing of antibiotics has a duty of care in terms of patient safety. Better controls on the use of antibiotics. Health professionals have been aware of the problem for several years and real progress has been made in developed countries. I think we have very good results um, in terms of uh, better prescribing in the community in many countries in Europe. Um, but of course we have problems with the gram-negative bacteria and these are increasing in all countries in the European Union and all 27 member states. So there we have a, clearly a problem. Gram-negative bacteria can be responsible for many types of infection, but bacteria are generally useful organisms and vital for the health of living beings. The use of antibiotics weakens these bacteria and can lead them to mutate and become resistant. À chaque fois que nous prenons des antibiotiques, eh bien, non seulement on est, bien sûr on est guéri, mais nos propres bactéries deviennent, deviennent résistantes. Ça donne au traitement antibiotique en plus de leur côté miraculeux de, de soins, ça leur donne un mauvais côté, si vous voulez, un, un côté qui fait que à chaque fois qu'on prend un traitement antibiotique, d'une certaine façon, on impacte un petit peu la santé publique en général. Et c'est pour ça qu'il faut utiliser les antibiotiques qu'à bon escient. Treating patients and saving lives without upsetting the equilibrium of the organism is a considerable challenge, and one facing the medical profession as a whole. The debate in Geneva at ICPIC 2013 also underscored the importance of a global policy for the use of antibiotics by humans, but it went further. Well, nowadays, I think antibiotic resistance should come to the world global agenda, which means that we are not only as a doctor invested in antimicrobial resistance, but the patients are invested, the trade system is invested, industries are uh, into it, economy, human rights, food, environment, you know, food, animal uh, uh, are today growing up because we are using antibiotics to make them grow or to make them grow faster. So it is really becoming a global health issue. And if I tell you that today you can only give some antibiotics to animals and you may reserve uh, antibiotics to humans, you will find it normal, but this is not the case. We're wasting a lot of our antibiotics in food animals when we don't have to. We're producing superbugs that come through the food and then go to people and kill people. Because if you have resistant bacteria, you are much more likely to die than if you have a sensitive one. And with E. coli, for instance, probably there are over a thousand deaths extra in Europe per year because we're giving certain antibiotics like fluoroquinolones and third generation cleftosporins to poultry as so often. And we need to stop that from happening so that we have less people dying because of these resistant bacteria. Nowadays, more than ever, the appropriate prescription and use of antibiotics have become global public health issues. But the problem has already come to the fore in certain countries like India, where resistance to antibiotics is becoming generalized and they are no longer effective. Uh, the antibiotic resistance rate problem in India is very serious. We have got one of the, one of the countries with very high resistance rate. If India implements an antibody policy based on China declaration, yes, India will be setting an example for all the developing countries. If India do this, other countries will, other developing countries will follow. India and all developing countries will need to get up to speed quickly in the process. 
An agreement to save our antibiotics was a key element in the latest G8 discussions this year and a vital step forward for the WHO and all the experts involved. David Willits, who's the Minister of Health, um, met with all the other Ministers of Health and said, look guys, this has to be our number one focus. So, you know, it's kind of moved away from cancer and it's kind of moved away from heart disease and so on and so forth. And now antibiotic resistance is there. And that's just fantastic. What then then has to be, that has to be backed up and supported with um, sort of increased resources to basically do international studies and also trying to assess what the real problems are.